G'day everyone. Thanks to science, giving birth to a child is now super safe and it's been getting safer every year. The chance that a woman will die during childbirth has dropped by half just within my lifetime. But there's one big exception to this trend, the United States, where the maternal mortality rate has been bucking the global trend and actually going up significantly. In fact, according to a study published in The Lancet, the United States now is the most dangerous place in the whole developed world to give birth. Coincidentally, the United States is also the most dangerous place to drive on the left side of the road. But that's another video, and also, if you drive on the left side of the road, you're an idiot. Back to this horrifying maternal mortality rate, which begs the question, how the bloody hell did we get here? Just some stats. Out of every 100,000 women that give birth in the United States, 26.4 will die. Now, that might not sound like much to you, but in the championship for the world's worst places to give birth, that places us ahead of Germany, France, Japan, Australia, Portugal, England, and Italy. Even right next door in Canada, the rate's only 7.3. <coughs> Free healthcare. <clears throat> so on the average day in America, two women will die in childbirth and over 100 women will be severely injured. Women are being left to bleed until their organs shut down. Their high blood pressure goes untreated until they have a stroke. They die from untreated infections. And no, this isn't Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is America. Now, the solution to this problem isn't particularly complicated. Around half of these deaths and injuries could be avoided by just providing standard care that we've known about for decades. So why isn't that care being provided? Don't we have rules around this stuff? Well, unlike apparently the US presidency, yes, there are actually rules that govern the medical profession. Hospitals know the ways to prevent these deaths. They just aren't doing them. Just to clarify, there are rules around the medical care of mothers giving birth, but there's no official organization checking whether these rules are even being followed. And there's no one like, say, a government department holding anyone accountable for this lack of rule following. A recent special report from USA Today looked at how well hospitals follow rules set forth for best practices in childbirth procedures. They found that dozens of hospitals just weren't following basic safety and health rules. For example, more than half of mums were not given treatment when their blood pressure got too high, putting them at a dangerous risk of stroke. Many hospitals conceded that they weren't measuring the amount of blood that a woman lost. I mean, it's just a bit of blood, right? Well, if it's enough blood that your organs literally pack it in, that's actually a lot of blood and probably something that you should have been measuring. But don't take my word for it. Trainers from the American Hospitals Association were recorded saying, what we know about those deaths is that most of them were actually preventable. They were from causes that we could have done something about. We could have prevented them if we had just recognized the emergency early on. We're not talking about the third world countries, we're talking about us, and this shouldn't be happening here. Now, hospitals are run by humans and humans make mistakes. But in the US, we're not learning from those mistakes because hospital leadership often doesn't enforce safety standards because that would cost money. And the government doesn't require reporting when mistakes are made in childbirth procedures because then it has to actually fix those problems. So they'd prefer not to know. But it doesn't have to be this way. The one exception to the US trend is California. Their medical death rate hasn't gone up at all. It's actually fallen by half. So how did California manage to overcome the odds? No, it wasn't a diet filled with kale. It was pragmatism. In California, they actively track complications during childbirth, and they use that data to inform improvements in their protocols. On you, California. Now, we all know that what gets measured gets done. That's why to protect elderly patients, the federal government requires hospitals to share information, such as complication rates for hip and knee surgeries, and then it posts that information publicly online. But the federal government does not require reporting of complications during childbirth. 
we need to do a better job of protecting these women. And that's why we need a national US-wide tracking system of childbirth complications. So at least we'll have the data that we need to learn from our mistakes. But what do you guys think? How would you improve the system? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Hi everyone, I'm Jade Lovell, resident science nerd on the Young Turks Network. You're watching SciQ and we know you don't want to miss an episode, so please click the subscribe button down below.